Hello, I'm Dr. Benjamin Norris from Frostburg State University, and in this video, I'm going to go over the stork enamine synthesis. Okay. The stork enamine synthesis is a uh, synthetic sequence that can be used to prepare molecules that look like this one. And um, it's really important that if you're coming to this video, um, there's some things that you need to know about before we move forward, and that this reaction sequence involves a lot of carbonyl chemistry, uh, including you know, the formation of enamines. So if you're not sure what an enamine is, you should probably go find my video on that topic. And it involves a Michael addition. So if you're not sure what that is, you should go find my video on that topic. But if you're familiar with those two things, let's, let's forge right ahead. Um, you might look at a compound like this and see that we have two carbonyl groups in here with three carbon atoms between them. We're going to number them. doesn't really matter which one is one, two, and three at this point. All right, three carbon atoms between them. And you might figure out that we could think about putting this molecule together. So I, I'm using... Uh, some retrosynthesis ideas here from perhaps an enolate anion or, or other nucleophilic equivalent of this uh, derived from, from this ketone and the following alpha beta unsaturated ketone as a Michael acceptor. Right. This has a problem. Because right, this is while while the alpha beta unsaturated ketone is a good Michael acceptor, the enolate anion is a poor Michael donor. So we need to have some kind of nucleophilic equivalent to that enolate anion to act as a better Michael donor. And so it turns out that an equivalent that is also nucleophilic at that position is an enamine. And so if we can convert this the, the corresponding ketone into an enamine, and it doesn't particularly matter what R is, though uh, typically simple di uh, dialkylamines are used, like diethylamine, or uh, cyclic secondary amines are, are, are another popular choice, then we can do the Michael reaction and, and eventually find our way to this uh, dione. So let's walk through the steps. Um, I'm not going to draw a lot of mechanisms here because I cover the formation of enamines in great detail in another video. I cover the Michael uh, addition reaction in another video, though I, that's where I'm most likely to draw a mechanism or part of a mechanism. Uh, and then there's a hydrolysis step at the end that I'm not going to draw the mechanism for. Again, I cover uh, enamine and, and imine hydrolysis in another video. Okay. So our first step is enamine formation. We start with a ketone that looks like what we need for the nucleophile, and we form an enamine out of it. And we can use any secondary amine, um, you know, there's some practical choices, like diethylamine is a pretty good choice. It's a, it's a liquid uh, at room temperature. It has a relatively low boiling point. If we wanted to remove it by distillation, we probably don't. Um, but diethylamine is a good choice. But it's also a reasonable choice to use um, cyclic secondary amines like piperidine. I'm, I'm just going to use piperidine as my example here. And then uh, quickly get together a 
the other things that this reaction needs. And so if you remember what uh, a reaction for the formation of an enamine needs, you need a ketone or an aldehyde, we're using ketone here, a secondary amine, an acid source, a proton source, heat, and the reaction needs to be done in such a way that water is removed from the reaction as it's formed. You know, water is a byproduct of enamine formation, and too much water builds up, you start hydrolyzing the enamine, and, and we don't want that. If I'd have picked a different secondary amine, we'd have a different enamine structure, but, but here's our enamine structure. And what makes enamine a uh, structure, like any of these other uh, related compounds, is this lone pair on the nitrogen, which is actually not specifically on the nitrogen. It is delocalized uh, by resonance into the pi system here. So we have a, a three car, a three atom, I should say, pi system. Positive charge, but I don't want it where. Yep. Okay. And so now we've got uh, a molecule, we've got charge separation, but it's got a negative charge on the carbon atom where we need it to be a nucleophile. Right. And so this now gives us what we need to be our Michael donor. And so now we can go into step two, the Michael addition. Oops. I just want to copy this thing. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit lazy. I'm going to leave those arrows there because I know that I need them. Or I need at least one of them. And so the nucleophilic attack arrow can actually, let's just, uh, involves the pi bond of the, or, or the lone pair on the carbon, however you do it, but it's the nucleophilic attack at the carbon atom here in the enamine attacks the, the beta carbon of the of the Michael acceptor and we get a interesting product here. <clears throat> Actually it has some structural features like this thing over here so I'm going to copy and paste. Into that. It's starting to, to look like our um, starting to look like our product. It's got a positive charge and a negative charge. Okay. Uh, so it's neutral overall. Um, we're in... You know, we're not necessarily in reaction conditions that lead to... Um, that have... are going to have proton donors and acceptors. So this might be where we stick until we get to step three. which is hydrolysis. And as we know, the amines and related things undergo hydrolysis in aqueous acid to return back to their carbonyl, pre uh, turn back to their carbonyl precursors. And, and aqueous acid is also going to protonate this enolate anion. Hydrolyze off the... Enamine, protonate the enolate anion, and there's our product. Right? Again, I'm not drawing the mechanism for this step, uh, but I cover this kind of hydrolysis in great detail in another video. This reaction is actually quite versatile. 
Um, and in fact, enamines like this react with a number of other electrophiles that don't always react well with enolate anions. Uh, and so you can, you can use this enamine trick to, to do a number of alkylations and other electrophilic type reactions at the alpha carbon on a ketone or aldehyde that maybe doesn't proceed very well uh, under typical enolate conditions. And, you know, with any Michael uh, addition reaction, the, the structure of the Michael acceptor can be um, varied greatly. The, the structure of the Michael donor actually can be varied a lot, too. So you can generate some pretty complex structures pretty quickly using this kind of reaction. Thank you for watching.